welcome back to our channel today. I am starting off today's video in not our favorite place, but a needed place. So I am here with a really scared little puppy. You guys, this is breaking my heart. We are bringing little Finn to the vet today and he knows where we are. And do you see how bad the poor little thing is shaking? Finny, it's gonna be okay. I'm trying to talk happy so he doesn't get more nervous because I feel like dogs can totally feel like your emotions. And we are bringing him here for a few different reasons. First of all, he's a little bit backed up, I think. So we are getting his little glands expressed, it's called. And I think that should make him feel much, much better. He's been scooting his little bum on the floor and stuff, so I can tell he's irritated. So every once in a while, we need to bring him in to come do that. But also the vet let me know that he is out of date on his rabies vaccine. So they said we have to get that done in order to do the other things. And so he's got to get a little shot, poor thing. But I do think he'll feel feel so much better after they help him out get that and then I also need to pick up some worming prevention so here in Florida they recommend that you give your dog kind of worming prevention things because it's really common here I guess in the grass and different things like that so we are almost out of his so I need to pick up some more of those probably breaking your hearts too seeing little Finn so scared he's usually so happy Finn let's go in we'll make you feel so much better it's gonna be so fast oh my gosh you guys give this video a thumbs up for our little Finley I know Oh, he's so scared. Okay, come on, puppy. Let's go. I know. I know. <laughs> I've missed you guys. We're sorry that the vlog went out a little bit late today. You guys probably noticed that, but it was because of this little guy. It's because of our little yeah. kid, you guys. So I just got back from the vet. I had to call Jared and kind of talk him through some of the things the vet was saying to decide what we wanted to do. He got his rabies shot. We actually yeah. ended up doing a three year rabies <laughs> shot. That's so cute. He was so scared. You guys saw him shaking. <laughs> and then they also did express his little glance. And you guys, he's like a different dog. Once he came back from that, oh, he yeah. was like, oh, all around, he has a little <laughs> smile back. He could possibly have a parasite or a heartworm, which is very yeah. scary. Mm -hmm. He's only been off of his heartworm medicine for less than a month, but she said it only takes him like touching grass or something one time mm. to contract one of those. That's a little scary, so we decided to do some testing. So we did a heartworm screen on him, so they had to like draw some blood from his little neck, which was so sad. And then they also ran a test for a parasite as well. So we ended up doing a little bit more, but we just decided to be on the safe side of things. We'd rather get those screenings done. Yeah. Just to make sure he's 100% good. He's a little tired right now. They did say the rabies shot because he's been a little bit tired and then we need to just be careful with his little neck. Super happy that Finn is doing a little bit better and hoping like crazy that those test results come back negative. So. That could be some good news. It's such a pretty day outside. I think we're gonna cook a little lunch up. Philip actually made, yes, he wanted to make sandwiches yesterday. And he taught me how to make them, so I think we're gonna make them. It's like a melted turkey mm. cheese sandwich with I can eggs go for on some it. Of those. Yeah, so I think we're gonna whip some of those up and then these guys are gonna go on a scoot ride. So Philip and I decided to take the scooters out on a casual stroll through this neighborhood that lines the Intracoastal. You guys have seen it quite a few times before, but this is actually the first time you're gonna be seeing this. We are actually walking on a property that is for sale right now. And I gotta say, like to have this as your view would be pretty darn incredible. Dude, what do you think? It's pretty cool. So you guys have actually seen this building right here before. It's the only home on the entire Intracoastal that is actually hanging over the water. I mean, there's people out here like jet skiing, having a good time. There's obviously boats that go down here. Up above, you have a view of the ocean over the park. Like this is like a pretty awesome setup. The park? Yeah, this is the park right here. So this is Hugh Taylor Birch State Park. This park is massive. It goes all the way down there. You guys can see our building way off in the distance over there. So we thought it'd be kind of fun just to look up real quick the prices of these lots, just for our entertainment. This one right here is eight million. Not sure why, but this one right here is four million which is just crazy because it looks like basically the exact same lot size. And then that right there with the house is $12.5 million. So I gotta say, it's definitely really cool to be able to explore the property because it's never been an option until literally right now as we're driving past it.
Then of course, you guys, I had to take Philip on this famous little street right here. It's actually one of the few streets that actually have beachfront homes. Philip said that he really wanted to see the homes here in Fort Lauderdale, especially the ones that are near or on the water. Hence why we decided to take this scooter out ride. And I knew I had to show him this particular section of the beach. I mean, it's just so cool to see these chairs. These chairs are pretty much everywhere here in Southern Florida. So dude, am I uh, convinced you to maybe move here? 30% there. 30% there, okay. Starting at zero though when I got Yeah, no, okay, all right. So we got a few more days. <laughs> Outside, dude. I don't know what to feel do. Good? I don't know what to do. <laughs> what does it feel like to be like outside at night? I'm scared to not have a ceiling <laughs> above me. <laughs> Just kidding. No, they went out on that scooter ride earlier. <laughs> yeah, we did. That was fun. And tell them that scooter actually died. We did actually tell you this, but my scooter died at the top of the hill, yeah. well, at the bridge. And so luckily, I was able to get back. It was a little scary at first. Yes. So you guys, we brought Philip to one of our favorite places here in Fort Lauderdale. <laughs> Los Olas Boulevard. Yeah. You guys come to Fort Lauderdale. This is like a must, must come. To. Yeah, it's so good. We love coming to Louis Bossy's, especially. That is one of our favorite restaurants. And Philip said he is dying to have homemade Italian real pasta. Real pasta. We'll see if we impress him, you guys. <laughs> my family, my family is a harsh critic on pasta, so we'll oh. see. Ooh. <laughs> for a chef's choice twice in a row oh. because I liked it so much. <laughs> so two plates. You guys, he, he ordered- now I'm in trouble. He ordered his first dish and loved it, ordered a second one. Yeah. I love that one even Honestly, more, I've right? never done anything like that before where you like to say like, surprise me, and he did it twice in a row. Yeah. And it was just like, he got amazing food both times, yeah. and each time they did like a custom order for him. It was really crazy. Yeah, yeah. the second one was what? What kind of pasta? Angel, Angel hair? Angel hair yeah. pasta. Doesn't usually come with that. It had pork cheek. Pork yeah. cheek. Which I had never would have got on my own, but it was good. Yeah, he didn't even know what it really was. He's like, the meat is so good. And then he asked the waiter and he told yeah. him what it was. So. Yeah, it was good. You guys, Louis Bossy's is a must. Put it on your list if you come here. We are two for two, you guys. Taco Craft and Louis Bossy's. Tomorrow's gonna be just as good. Okay, you can't over promise. <laughs> yeah, I mean. So along the inner coast are a lot of like little inlets. There's one called the New River and basically this is where we're walking on right now. It's yeah. so pretty at night. There's boats all along here. All the apartments and hotels are lit up. Perfect way to walk off some pasta. Yeah. <laughs> That's for sure. And you guys, the temperature out here is like beautiful. It's yeah. so nice. Yeah, how's it compared to Utah? Utah was snowing when I left, so oh. this is 10 yeah. times better. Phil <laughs> picked the perfect week to come yeah. visit us. That's Literally on sure. the airplane snowing. It was snowing when you got <laughs> oh on the airplane? Gosh. Oh my gosh. So this is the river that goes through the city. It's so pretty and right now the water taxi that is one of our favorite ways to show people the city. This is the double decker one. If you do take the water taxi, make sure you wait for the double decker. It's way better. You can and, sit on top. And Phil's making fun of me because apparently I've told him that story like 12 times. <laughs> yeah. But we are actually gonna be taking the water taxi over to the boat show here in a few days. That'll be really fun and we will show you it then. We're back home with our little feeners. Oh yeah, getting a little tired. You guys, he's doing pretty good. He's been pretty sleepy today. Mm -hmm. They did say he'd be pretty sleepy probably from that vaccine. But he hasn't been scooting around, so that's really good. Yeah. And then just fingers crossed his results come back good. We should know here in a few days, they said. So I know you guys are always so sweet and love our little Finn. So thanks in advance for all yeah. the well wishes for this little guy. But we he love you, dude. is doing good. <laughs> and he really seems to like Philip quite a bit. <laughs> This will be the true test. Philip, so call him and let's see if he comes. Hey, Judy, Finny, come here. <laughs> 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 try, again. try it again. Oh, hi. Oh, good boy, Finn. <laughs> it is crazy. Like, Finn, like, really, really likes Philip. Oh, yeah, he's gonna get a kiss. Oh. <laughs> 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 
Good Hi. boy, dude. So good to see him being more himself. Yeah. It's the saddest, you guys. That seriously almost broke my heart this morning. He's just <laughs> shaking in the car so bad. Yeah. So nervous, but he's doing much better now. Yeah, dude. And on that note, you guys, I think we're gonna call it tonight, but make sure you guys come on back tomorrow because we're gonna be doing some fun stuff actually outside during the daytime. We'll have work off from now on. Yeah, guys, yeah. So work is off. We'll show him a good time. You guys, we love you all so much. Thanks for hanging out with us today. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. We'll see you all tomorrow. See you guys, love ya, bye.